everyone, my name is Mary and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things related to the storytelling industry. Now, if you're looking at this video, you're probably like, where in the world have you been? Because I have been gone for a while. If you happen to follow me on my other channel, you know why I've been gone. But for those of you on here, I just kind of ghosted you a few months ago and never came back. It's actually been, I think, I don't know if it's been six months, but it's been close to six months since I last posted on this channel. So this video is to just give you a quick update on life, what's going on with me, where I've been, and where this channel is going in the future. So first and foremost, my last couple videos were basically rebranding the channel, and I was so excited about this launch of basically being a part of AuthorTube and talking about writing and productivity and organization, and just all these really cool ideas I had about starting an authorpreneur type business for myself. And then all of a sudden, I was gone. Well, the reason for that is because my dad became very, very sick. Again, if you follow me on my other channel, you already know this story. So most of you know that I was my father's caregiver and I had been his caregiver for several years, really the last several years of his life. He has lived with me and I have taken care of him. And the last year or so, his health took really, really sharp declines. The last six months especially were difficult. And that's basically when I dropped off of this channel. I ended up signing my book deal and getting really excited about some opportunities that came my way, and then dad became very sick. While unfortunately dad's health continued to decline and he did pass away in May. So I took some time off after May because obviously I was grieving and I was really confused about what I wanted life to look like, but I will say that one of the best things that came out of dad's passing is a realization of how short life is and how much I really, really want to make sure I'm following my dreams. I don't want to get to the end of my life and regret the things that I didn't try. And so I am back here and I really want to make a valid effort to go after my author career. I love writing and I want this to be the thing that I do for life. I want this to be something that I get to be a part of and grow and enjoy until I'm no longer able to do it. So that's the main reason I have been gone. So what else has been happening from an author standpoint? Well, <laughs> the last six months has been crazy busy, the last year really. My sister and I did sign a book contract with Arcadia Publishing to create a book for their Haunted America series. And this really came about because we have a podcast. I think I've mentioned it to you guys before. It's called Hoosier Mist and Legends, where we post stories and legends about different hauntings and, you know, weird things about Indiana. We talk about Bigfoots. We talk about monsters. We talk about... We have an episode coming up talking about UFO sightings. We talk about all of the weird paranormal things about Indiana because that's our home state and we love paranormal, right? Well, they saw our podcast and thought they, we were doing a good job and they asked us if we would be interested in writing a book for their series. So for the last, I can't remember when we signed our book contract, but it was a while ago. It takes a while to get your book published, which I'm going to talk about in a future video, but essentially we've been working on this for a long time. We it was a little bit backwards in that usually with a traditional publisher, you go to them with a finished product or with an idea that you know you're going to develop. And with us, they came to us. So we had to go through the whole process of coming up with what the book would look like and then pitching it to them to make sure they liked it and then actually writing the book. So again, it was a long process, but we are done. Our book was turned in, it has been edited, and I am holding the author copy in my hands. This is... Haunted Dearborn County, Indiana by Mary Ellen Quigley and Rebecca D. Wilhelm. And it comes out on August 14th of 2023. So it comes out this coming month. And we have now hit the part of publishing where we got to do like all of the marketing and interviews and events and all of the fun part of writing your book. But I'm really excited about this opportunity. The publishing company was great to work with. I'll talk about this more in a later video. But this is all about Dearborn County, Indiana, which is down by my sister. And we have all kinds of really cool stories about the hauntings down there. But one of the things I love about the whole Haunted America line, because I've actually read several of these books even before they approached us, is that I love the historical content. I'm a bit of a history buff. I love history. So I love that this interweaves history with paranormal. And that's kind of how I'm marketing this or how I'm telling people about it. I'm like... Even if you don't like ghost stories, you'll love to hear the history. This There's a lot of really neat history that I don't even know people know about this area. And 
that was the, the most fun part of it for me was just doing the historical research and then looping in those different legends and ghost stories along with it. So it was a great experience. I'm, I'm nervous, but also really excited. And it has been, although a really difficult and sad last six months or so, it has also been a really exciting time for me and my sister. And we've been struggling with that a little bit because right now we should just be elated that like our dream is coming true and we're going to have a book in a bookstore. Like we can go to a bookstore and purchase our book. But we're also really devastated because um, we wanted daddy to be able to see this moment and he's not here to see it. So it has been a struggle. With that being said, I am definitely completely full steam ahead for my writing career. I love it. And I have been working on the side. A lot of my writing right now has been, I don't know if it's like more emotional, like emotion driven blogging <laughs> that I have not published anywhere, but I may post some of that up on Medium eventually. And I want to get back into working on not only the stuff that I'm doing under my real name, Mary Ellen Quigley, but my pen name. You, as you guys know, my pen name is M. E. Laverne and I write romance, wrote clean romance is basically what I focus on. I have a couple of Kindle Vella novels that are just sitting out there that I just left half finished and I'd like to get in there and finish those. And then I also was really inspired um, just writing under my regular name, which is my um, Christian devotional slash nonfiction <laughs> pen name. It's not really a pen name, it's my real name, but you know what I mean. I was inspired because I have never really written a nonfiction historical book before. And I enjoyed this a lot. I didn't realize how much I enjoyed researching and looking up the history of this stuff. I would actually love to write another book like this, um, whether it be with Arcadia Publishing or whoever. I love the idea of like researching the history and just putting it in a book form like this. I had the most fun. And so my sister and I have kind of gone back and forth about do we want to try to do another one with them? Do we want to do something um, on self-published level? We're not really sure, but we enjoyed this. Uh, and we enjoy it as so much that we have a podcast that does basically the same thing. I love doing the historical research. And I was like, I didn't realize I loved nonfiction that much because I've always been a fiction writer. <laughs> and I was like, I really like nonfiction writing. I didn't think I would be that person. So if you happen to be watching this, I would love to know who else here writes nonfiction. Do you love it as much as I do? Like, I was like, wait, I like nonfiction writing? When did that happen? But I really enjoy it. I also like fiction, but I was shocked because I didn't think, I didn't think I would like nonfiction. And I do. So I have a lot of ideas that are just spinning in my head that I'm excited to flush out. And because of that, I am now hosting write-ins. You may notice on my channel a bunch of scheduled write-ins. Now, be patient with me because I have never hosted a live anything. Never, never done it. Don't know how to do it. We're going to roll with it and I'm going to figure it out. But I want to host write-ins. And I'm not techy enough to know how to be on YouTube and Twitch and TikTok. And all. I don't even have a Twitch. I think I'm too old for Twitch. I don't even know. But all I know how to do is, is YouTube. So for right now, I'm just doing write-ins on YouTube. Somebody was like, do write-ins on TikTok. I'm like, how? Can you, do, can you do that? I don't even know that you can do that. But I have them on my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to join me every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I figure I'll pop on and do a couple hours worth of write-ins. And basically just doing writing sprints, right? Where like we set a timer, we write, we talk about what we wrote, we set a timer, we write, and rinse and repeat. That's the goal. So that's where I'm moving forward next. I plan to have videos weekly for you guys. I'm going to take you along on my release day and my very first book signing and uh, all kinds of really cool stuff that we have coming up with the release of our book. So stay tuned to this channel. Definitely we'll be here weekly, um, both for write-ins and for regular videos. Let me know what you've been up to since I've been gone. I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how things are going and I will talk to you next time. Bye.